Alright, this video is going to go over the long run average total cost curve with a discussion of economies and diseconomies of scale and a little bit of constant returns to scale. So first when we look at our long run average total cost curve we see this relationship where as output increases costs go down. And then at some point they hit a minimum and it goes back up again so we get this u-shaped curve. How we get this long run average total cost curve is through a series of these short run average total cost curves. So there's an infinite number of these short run average total cost curves. And as we change these short run average total cost curves by changing the fixed value of an input, say we make our factory bigger or we buy more ovens, something that we can't do in the short run but that we can do in the long run, we get this long run average total cost curve. So what happens is in the first part of the curve where costs are going down as input increases, we're in the economies of scale range. So this means that if we double all of our inputs, so we double the amount of labor, we double the amount of capital, that sort of thing, we will more than double our output. So economies of scale means that it makes sense to grow larger. We double all our inputs, more than double our outputs. At some point, when we increase output, costs remain the same. So this is constant returns to scale. So this means that if we double all our inputs, we double our outputs. So there's no benefit really from increasing the size of our company or our firm because we get constant returns to scale. We don't see any benefit in the cost structure. But then, once we start getting very big and start producing more and more output, we see costs rising. The average total cost is rising as we produce more things. And in this range, we're in diseconomies of scale. So this means that if we double all of our inputs, we less than double our outputs. So if we hire twice as many people and get a factory twice as big, our output doesn't double. Why? Because average total cost is going up over this range as we produce more and more of the output. So this is how the economies of scale, constant returns to scale, and diseconomies of scale relate to our long run average total cost curve.